Hey, it's Kurt with Lifter LMS. In this video, I really just wanted to point out a couple of really popular course authoring tools in the SCORM world, in the SCORM marketplace. I think it's important that we kind of look at what other people are using to make their e-learning content, kind of understand why they come with the demands that they do. Now, if I jump into a quick screen share here, you're gonna see that I'm looking at the Articulate website. So this is Articulate, and I'm used to working with a tool called Articulate Storyline. Now, back when I used it, there was Articulate Storyline, then there was Articulate Storyline 2, and then there came out Articulate 360. So Articulate 360 is a whole platform, and you can start a free trial, and you can subscribe to their services, but please, please know this is not open source and it's not freeware. Uh, there are memberships that come with this. Back when I worked with the software, it was around $3,000 a year for a single person license. But the output that I got from the product really was top notch. If you have a good uh, instructional designer that's on your team, they'll be able to use this tool to build a lot of interactive kind of really good transitioning pieces. Now, some people think of Articulate or Captivate, which I'll show you in a moment. They think of those as being like really good PowerPoint creation tools. In reality, they do so much more than that because they can create uh, transitions, fade ins, fade outs, and they allow the student to create their own journey. You can split your SCORM package into pathways that allow the student to be more interactive and pick their pathway to learning. Now in the Articulate site, you're gonna see they have Articulate 360, Rise 360, and Storyline 360. So all of these things are a little bit different and I would encourage you if you're in the SCORE market to do your homework and look at the differences, the pros and cons of each decision. The next one that I wanna show you is Captivate. Captivate is an Adobe product. I've got a little bit of experience with Captivate. It is really well loved by people that are part of the Adobe family. So if you're big in Photoshop, Adobe Premiere Pro, maybe Adobe Audition for your sound, then it's just kind of a natural extension that you would take a look at Captivate. Now, all of these programs, right? So whether it's something from the Articulate file or from Captivate, or from any other of the SCORM generating tools that are out there, they're gonna create that stack of files that we talked about earlier, that zip package that becomes your SCORM package that you load up to your website. And when it plays, it's gonna activate that immersive interacting experience that you're looking for inside your e-learning. And so what that might commonly look like to some folks is typically you'll go to a website that's open up for e-learning and there'll be some kind of a title to the course, and you'll see this little launch button. That launch button is what's gonna activate that SCORM package, and it's gonna bring up a light box, and it's gonna put the course inside of that light box, kind of like shadowed up on top of the page. This is probably the most common use of SCORM work that I see on websites currently. And so you'll notice, like I said earlier, you're able to put multiple pages or multiple lessons inside your SCORM package and have everything work inside one screen. So you see, as I flip through this course, you see all of the different things that we're able to do and the different links and the interactivity that we're able to put in there. And then at the end of this, we're actually able to uh, go ahead and take a quiz, complete the quiz, right, for the knowledge check. So, you know, this is this the correct answer? Is this the correct answer? How many holes? 18. Uh, for par 175, I want to do three. Uh, out of the player site, you'll notice they kind of, for a sample, gave us all the answers up front. And so we can pick all of these and we can say one stroke at zero. And then we can finish this and submit our answers. And that is going to, let's, let's do one that's wrong, right? So let's say, uh, instead of saying two, let's say three. Uh, let's pick true. Let's pick false anyway. Let's pick true again and let's submit those answers. And you'll see it tells us right on the screen what our results were. And there are additional tools in WordPress that would allow you to take SCORM type reporting out of these quizzes and sync it up with the Lifter LMS reporting in the admin menu. So again, 
you can have a fully functional SCORM website working inside your Lifter, Lifter LMS powered WordPress website. Excellent. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next lesson.